You've been lied to. For years, they told you to eat less and move more. Calorie counting, that's the golden rule, right? Except it doesn't work. I mean, if it did, we'd all be walking around with a six pack and metabolic health worthy of a Greek God. But most of us aren't. And it's not because we lack willpower. It's because the whole idea of calorie counting ignores the actual biology of how the body works. So today I'm here in my kitchen to expose the calorie myth and show you what actually works instead. But let's get one thing straight. Calories exist, they matter, but they don't matter the way you've been told. See, the calories in, calories out model assumes that your body is a simple math equation, but it's not. It's a complex hormonal driven biological machine. And that means 300 calories from a bagel will do something very different to your metabolism than 300 calories from an omelet. And if you don't believe me, Let's break it down. Imagine two people eating breakfast. One has a bagel, the other has an omelet. Same number of calories, right? So according to the calories in, calories out model, their bodies should react the same way, right? Nope, not even close. Here's what actually happens. When you eat the bagel, your blood sugar shoots up like a rocket. Your pancreas panics, and dumps a flood of insulin into your bloodstream. Insulin, by the way, is the fat storage hormone. It tells your body to store energy, not burn it. And what happens after that? Your blood sugar crashes hard. You get hungry again. You crave sugar. You feel sluggish. And within a couple of hours, you're back in the kitchen looking for another fix. Now, let's look at the omelet. It's mostly protein and fat, with little to no carbs. What does that mean? No major blood sugar spike, no insulin flood, no crash. And guess what? You stay full for hours. So while both meals had the same number of calories, one of them set you up for fat burning and the other set you up for fat storing. After that example, you still think calories are the only thing that matters? If you want to fix metabolic dysfunction, meaning insulin resistance, prediabetes, diabetes, and obesity, you need to focus on what affects insulin the most, and that's carbohydrates. Carbs are what drives your blood sugar up, carbs are what triggers insulin, and insulin is what determines whether your body is in the fat burning or fat storing mode. So if you're trying to lose weight, improve your energy, or reverse metabolic disease, you need to stop obsessing over calories and start paying attention to carbs. This is why carb counting is so much more effective. It lets you control the hormone that actually regulates your metabolism, insulin. Let's break it down. When you count calories, you're treating food like it's just numbers on a spreadsheet. But when you count carbs, you're looking at how food actually impacts your body. Let's talk mechanisms. Notice what happens here. Carbs lead to high glucose and insulin spikes. More insulin equals more fat storage. High insulin over time leads to insulin resistance. Protein, on the other hand, leads to minimum insulin response and is important in helping you repair muscle and keeping you full. Finally, fat virtually no insulin response. It's a satiety powerhouse and encourages fat adaptation. This is why people on the low carb diet end up eating fewer calories without even trying. Their hunger hormones reset. They're not constantly in the eat, crash, repeat cycle. They eat until they're full and don't need to snack every two hours. So if you want to improve your metabolic health, start paying attention to carbs, not calories, not macros, carbs. And don't just assume that you know how many carbs you're eating. Look it up. Use an app like Carb Manager. You'll be shocked at how much sugar is hiding in the foods you thought were healthy. Examples of so-called healthy high-carb foods include granola, whole wheat bread, fruit smoothies, and flavored yogurts. Because the truth is that most of us have been misled. And I get it, nutrition science is confusing, but the more you learn, 
the better decisions you can make. So let's make 2025 the year we stop blindly counting calories and start understanding food. Start tracking your carbs, pay attention to how you feel, and let your body show you what actually works. And if this video made you rethink everything you thought you knew about weight loss and metabolism, do me a favor, share it with someone who needs to hear this. Hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below. And do me a favor and let me know, have you ever tracked your carbs before? For, what did you notice? Because at the end of the day, the more we learn, the better choices we make. And that's how we change lives, one carb at a time.